Now, on this problem, we're starting to play with the big boys, okay? We're getting some harder questions. So, the first question is easy. We are trying to find the period of the pendulum, uh, given the data that we've got. We've got this uh, Foucault pendulum. It's a huge thing. There's some really cool ones here in, the, in the Houston. You go see that. You know, so we've got a system where we have, you know, basically a bob, and we know, though, the bob is super heavy, 120 kilograms, and then the L is 16.6 meters long. And the first question, part A, super easy. It's asking you to find the period of the pendulum. T is equal to uh, 2 pi square root of L over G. We know L. We know G. The mass doesn't make a difference. You can find the period of the pendulum. That's easy, question A. All right, what's the Bob's maximum speed? We're ramping up our question. If you call V max is equal to rho times A, or that's 2 pi F. A. So once you know the period, you can convert, remember, uh, F is 1 over the period, and then you can, you know the ex, uh, amplitude of the wave. Now, how do we know the amplitude of the wave? Oh, that's the tricky question, isn't it? So how do you find A? Now, if you think about it, what they gave us is it has a 5.5 degree Swing. So, what's the amplitude of that um, of that uh, motion? Now, recall it's really a circle, right? It's traveling in circular motion, and so I want to know what the length of this arc is. That makes sense. I want to know how long. I'll try and draw it this way. Is this curve? If that makes any sense. I can't erase it. How long is that orange line? Now, the way to figure that out is, if you think about it, a circle, a full circle. So I need to find what A is. W is 2 pi F. That's easy, right? How do I find how long that curve is? So if you think of a circle, a circle has a circumference of 2 pi R, right? And we are coming out a sliver that's 5 degrees, right? So it's 2 pi R times, or is it 5.5, whatever it was, 5.5 degrees, 5.5 over a full circle. If this is a full circle, a full circle is 360 degrees. So that's A. So that's how big of an arc it cuts as it goes through. So once you find A, you do 2 pi F A, this is your A, from this part. So that's the tricky question. And the last question is when the bob is at a maximum displacement, so that's it. 5.5 degrees, how much higher is it than when it was at an equilibrium position? So what they're asking is, that, you know, at one point it was down here, and it's going to raise just this little bit. Let me redraw this so it's easier to see, because if I have the bob, and it's at that 5-degree angle, and then I draw it this way, these two lengths, I may have not drawn them very well, I'm trying to draw them the same length. And so if you think about it, if we drew a line right here, I want to find out what this height is right here, from here to here. Well, we know the length of this is 16.6 meters, and we know this is 5.5 degrees. Now, when I was doing this problem uh, on my paper here, I had to switch back to degrees, because they gave us a degree thing, and all of our calculators have been playing the radian game. Because what I want to do is I want to find, I want to find what this length is here from here to here. So that's the adjacent, right? A, B, A, B, J. The adjacent angle. So then what we'll do is we'll say cosine of angle of theta, right, is adjacent over hypotenuse. But we know that's cosine of 5.5 equals adjacent over 16.5. Now, once you get the adjacent, there's not a big difference. I did the math. It's a very small number here. You're not going. It's, you're going to get a number smaller than 16.6. Let's just say it's 16. It's not. It's even higher than 16. If it was 16.0, then this gap, its risen amount, is just going to be 0.6. That's its displacement. 16 minus 16.6 minus 16 would give you 0.6. It's even smaller when you do the math. Um, but that's how you do it. You just kind of think that through. I might even ask what's its total energy, and it just would be mgh right here. So m2 
times this, or times g times this h, and you can figure that out. It didn't ask you that question, but it's kind of a tricky one, isn't it?